Well, Arashima stayed with the sea king and his daughter in the fabulous palace. Oh, he was fed all the best food and entertained by dancers and musicians. And there was one special place that he loved to go to. It was a room that had four windows. And each window on each wall, you could see out into the palatial gardens. The gardens were so gorgeous. But what was interesting was that each wall window looked out on a different season. And the seasons changed very quickly so that you could turn very slowly and watch the years go by. Fall would go into winter, would go into summer, spring, fall, winter, spring, summer, fall, winter, spring, summer. And one window, you would see the, the seasons change many times in maybe a minute. He just was fascinated with that and stayed there for hours. But finally, he got very, very homesick because it was a place where you remembered your home and all the seasons that change, the cherry blossoms in the spring, the warm water in the summer, and the ice in winter, and the different colors in the fall. He wanted to go back and see it for real. And so he gently asked the princess, you know, princess, I've been here about a week and I love it, but I really want to go home. Let me go home. She was very unhappy that he had asked that. That was not a very good thing to ask because the Sea King's palace is like heaven. It's the best place ever. It's endless joy. Why would anyone want to leave? But he missed his home. And he said, no, I want to go home. Well, the princess allowed him to go home. And she said, I, I will take you back to your home. But let me give you something. And she gave him a box. It's a beautiful box. And she told him, do not open it unless you are absolutely without any kind of idea what to do. Then you may open it. And only then, only when there's nothing else available to you, do you open this box. Okay? So, Otomi gave him her promise that she would see him to the shore, and she did. She took him back as a turtle. She took him back to his, his home. But when he got to the shoreline, he didn't really recognize it. There were giant buildings all over the place. That wasn't his home. Oh, yes. The town, there was a sign saying that that was his hometown. And then as he walked down, the, the streets that used to be just earthen streets were paved with wonderful, heavy rocks, very smooth. Oh, it was amazing. And the buildings, there were giant mountainous buildings everywhere. And lights that never shut off, lamps that never shut off. He stopped somebody on the way and he said, excuse me, uh, do you know where Urashima lives? I, I'm looking for my home. I'm Urashima and I've come back, but I, I don't know where I am. I, this doesn't seem to me to be the same house or the same village. Oh, Urashima, said the stranger. Why? Yes, there was a, a, a legend of a, a fisherman that went 
and drowned in the sea many, many years ago. Oh, hundreds of years ago. That's, that's the only Urashima I know. Urashima stood back and he walked on and he was in, in deep trouble. He, he didn't see anything that he recognized. No people, no buildings, everything seemed so, so strange. He, he made his way back to the beach, to the ocean. And he wondered how and why he had wanted to leave that wonderful palace. It was so beautiful. He was very depressed. He decided that it was time to open the box because there was nothing else for him in this world. So he opened the box. <gasps> and out from the box, came a puff of smoke, and with the smoke came the feathers, and they landed on Hiroshima and covered him, and he felt his neck grow, and his legs grow, and instead of arms, he had giant wings, and he had become a crane. He immediately flew out over the ocean to see if he could find the Sea King's palace. He couldn't find the palace. But the turtle, Atahami, came out and waved one of her fins at him. Hello, Urashima. Urashima was able to fly over and they met on a beach on the sand and he bowed to her she to him yes my friend we can be together you in your world of air and earth and me in my world of wind and water but we can never, ever go back to the joys of the Sea King's palace. And so the turtle and the crane continue to meet and dance and enjoy the days they have together, the long days. For the crane and the turtle are two of the longest lived animals on the planet. The end.